Well, hello, everybody. We're doing a little late night pole installing. Um, I put that one in. I'm putting that one in. And for all of you diehard whole hog fans that say you can't drill through dirt with these, you're wrong. These are a freaking animal drilling through dirt. I'm using the four and five eighths drill bit in there now. And I bored every freaking hole you see. I bored down through a stump. I bored down through roots. I've hit rocks. Um, so here's some of the rocks I hit. I loosen up. There's another one. And uh, right now I'm getting into really, really kind of packy clay type shit is what I'm getting into now. And there's down the hole right now. So I've hit a few roots on the way down through, which is no big deal. Here's how the tip is looking, in case you're wondering. So it gets a little gummed up. Um, but man, this thing is pretty unstoppable. The only thing I've really done was just sharpen this edge a little bit. Just take a flapper disc and just kind of level it off a little bit. And then I put a little slant here and I cut it straight here. So, yeah, like I'll reface this here a little bit and then I'll put a slant down it. You can see it's starting to get a little bit rounded. So I'll make that straight maybe later tomorrow or something. But for right now, this thing digs like a freaking crazy monkey through this dirt. And when I feel it hitting a stone, you can hear it going. <laughs> you just back off. You back out. And then, uh, you know. And then you reach in and clear the stump. I got an extension if I need it. So, so right now I've got a, I'm trying to light off. I've got a two foot extension on it. And I feel like I didn't have enough pain yesterday. So I'm beating the shit out of myself now. I don't even know what time it is right now, but I got my string line up and I got a two by four up. So I'll know, you know, how to keep all this shit straight in line. You know, it's pretty damn straight already. I can't believe it. So I, I measure, I put them down in and I put a level across the top of them. Why? I, I have no clue, but I'm leveling post to post on the top. So as you stand back and look at these, um, they're perfectly level. Each one's leveled. Cause I know this ground little tiny bit of grade to it not too bad I mean it's, it's almost pretty flat so I'm just screwing one two by four temporarily to the next one to give me a lineup for the next one and that's pretty much it I got uh, like I said before I got one more to put here which is gonna land right on top of this so this may be an issue because that's got to join back in over here so yeah so like i said yesterday that's up there ready my hangers are up there and like i said that's going to keep continuing right straight out to that tower and i of course i showed you yesterday i moved this tower out and i moved that out so i can hook into the main beam in the corner here i did pull these out this one was here with the arrow on it so i got that one out I pulled this pipe pipe out here. That's where the other arrow was, right here. And this is what I did basically. I just, you know, kept stacking wood and stacking wood and just prying it up. It came out wicked easy. So now, like an idiot, because I was having flooding in the garage. This is all concrete. I took concrete and I just hand packed it up against the bottom of this. And now I got to smash it out because I'm a freaking doof. Well, I wasn't looking for the long range thing, but yeah. So this is one of the four by fours that I cut up in the, into wedges. And when I went through the center of the stump here and over here, I pounded them wedges in to bring me perfectly level front and back. So we're doing okay. So I got my tripod here. I'm going to show you what's going on to some of the non-believers going, oh my God, you can't get the whole down in the dirt like that. Where well, are you gonna see it right now? 
and uh, it has no trouble whatsoever. The only problem is now I got this two by four in the way, but you gotta be careful to cut the string in the auger. I've done that a few times. <laughs> I've hit my bottom. It's uh, the drill's hitting on this two by four right here, so I can't go down any deeper. So I gotta get on this side now. So I could tell my hole is running off. I have another extension because this extension is going to straighten my hole out. There we go. You just get a little bit of dirt in the in the quick releases here. So this will get me up a little bit higher now, so I can straighten the hole out. Because right now the hole it's is kind of curving off like this way on me. And it's going that way, which I don't want. So now I got my, I'm going to get back on this side. And now I'm going to, I'm going to angle it back that way, drill. Now you've, you've heard me hitting the rocks in there. So I know there's rocks in there. And how far down am I? Well, I got the hole straightened up at least. Maybe I'll find a pot of gold. If I find any gold in here, I ain't telling anybody. Oh, it's getting dark out. I think it's going to rain. I don't know what the hell is going on over there, but... Well, could rip this dirt out. What the hell is this? It's like paper down here. What the hell is that? 20 bucks. Oh, 20 bucks in the hole. Holy shit. Where the hell that come from? <laughs> Honestly, in New York, is nothing like Alaska. If you find gold in New York, shut your mouth and don't tell anybody because New York will claim it. So that's why nobody gold mines in New York. 24 inches, I got a few more to go. Yep, never tell anybody you found gold in New York. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's your grandmother, your brother, you don't tell nobody. Because it only takes one freaking mouth and you lose your gold. They'll come right to your freaking house and we'll take it. So, this is how I usually get my last few inches. I put this in and I just twist it around in the bottom. There's that rock I'm hitting right there. There it is. And I can usually get the rock out. I pulled some whoppers out of here so far. And I didn't even go to freaking Burger King. And I got some Whoppers out of here. I just figured I'd show you, you know, what I deal with. And But, yeah, you can bore right through dirt with those. I've been beating the shit out of that bit. I just can't freaking believe it. And it's a genuine Milwaukee. And I've only touched it up a few times. You know, like I showed you. So... Every time I dig it down, it keeps getting higher. 
23 inches. Um, yeah, it's kind of nice out right now. Looking dark in a few places. Where the hell did, where'd that rock go? Hey, rock. So now you obviously see that, there it is. You see that I'm, that's it right there. It's a big bastard too. Well, I might like just be sitting on a rock. I can feel it. What's nice is this shit, you can maneuver it around. And it's so soft that you can kind of, you can get your finger in there and you can dig out underneath the rock. But, so I'm taking my four by four and um, I almost got it. Finger almost underneath it. There's one rock right there. As you can tell, that's the rock. Oh, I'll go right back in the hole. Back in the hole, stupid dick. Um, yeah, I take my plane, I got my electric plane, and I plane off the square of the 4x4 to make it round. Plop right in the hole. I'll be doing that in a minute. Once I get this down to where I want it. How come I keep getting shallower? All right, we're gonna run big boy down in again. Run the big boy down in, hopefully. Hopefully I, I'll miss that rock. Or I'll probably hit the rock. Once this goes down under to the ground level, I'm good. Now we're down there. Reverse it back out. Coming out slow. Good, let it land it on. Yeah. Okay, so it hit a rock down there. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in deep now. Yeah, I'm down there now. That's good enough. Christ. Perfect. There's a huge rock right here. I'll be sitting right on top of a freaking rock. Damn. That's awesome. What are we down to? 26. All right. I'm going to go back you guys out. I am going to go get my 4x4, which is 30 feet behind me. So, don't trip over the line. Now we unplug the big monster drill. We're done with that for now. We're actually done with that for tonight because I'm, I'm not doing anymore. All right. I don't know why my neighbor keeps keeping her freaking horn. Okay, so I got to shave it down to here. Man, I tell you, I'm glad I bought this plane.
So that's all it takes to make, to put a square peg in a round hole. Uh oh. Is that hitting? That ain't good. Andy must have missed something. Okay. It didn't go fired. Uh, freaking hell am I hitting? Oh, what's that? A rock? Is it a rock? Yes. But I went and knocked it loose. There's that rock I was hitting earlier. Yep, there it is. I can see it. Oh, there it goes. Dropped right out. There's that rock. Big one. It's rock 107. Okay. Well, let's shove her in the hole again. Luckily, this 4x4 four four is pretty dry. Get off the string. Asshole. Boy, this one just wants to be a dick. It's going in, but it's going in crooked as piss. Oh, actually, it's really not that crooked. It just appears to be. That was my 26 inch mark. I may have to run the drill down into this again because it's not coming in as straight as I want it to. Okay. Thank God my dog wasn't behind me. He could bonk and head of that 4x4. Four four. Probably freaking kill him. That's all I need. All right, so I can see what's going on. There's a piece of root right there. So I just got to do a little little fiddly wig in here. down to my rock and I'll know I'm on the bottom again. There's a rock right there. I tell you, I'm pretty freaking impressed. I am pretty impressed with that freaking drill. I've learned to hold on to it now when I get into the strong shit and it doesn't really pull me. Hey puppy, there's puppy. Look in the hole, Junior. Look in the hole. Look at any mousies in there, Junior? Junior, come here. Look in there. Come here. It's okay. Good boy. Come here. Junior, look in there. There's a hole in there. Junior, come here. Look. Birdie. Birdie's in there. There's a birdie in there. There's a birdie in there. Oh, here he comes. There's a birdie. There's a birdie in there. Look in the hole. Look. Look in the hole. There's a birdie in there. He don't believe me. He goes, I ain't falling for that shit. He's like, I'm, I've watched you long enough. I know what you're doing. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this will be the last time for this. Where's my 26 mark? Why do I keep losing that? Oh, it's over there. All right, 
Boy, it doesn't look bad. All right, let's see. Are we level forward? Oh, perfect. Level sideways. Yep, we can get that. Now, I'll be level top and bottom. Wow. That's close enough. In case you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, if you're wondering how level this is, I don't know if you can see that. Well, and there you go. I don't know why they look crooked on video. Oh, look, it's just like one beam now. They're perfectly straight. They're perfectly straight this way, and they're perfectly straight that way. So, I have, what do I got left? One, one, two, three. Jesus, three more to go. One here, one here. And I gotta square this up. I might have another one here, a couple close together on the end. So, making headway a little bit at a time. See, this isn't gonna be in anybody's way. You know, if you wanna come in and scratch this out with your tractor, I mean, that's fine. But it's amazing, it's taken me the whole entire day to get my ass up and moving again. It's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. And it's going to rain tomorrow, I guess. So, I'm bringing all my shit in. Throwing it on the floor like a... Look at this. Like a pile of shit. Everything's just piled up here at the door for now. Because I'm going to need it. Why put it all away and drag it back out? Leave it right here where I need it. Okay. Alright, everybody. If you enjoyed uh, how to make a wooden whole hog drill to the ground... Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me something. Give me a lollipop. Um, so, yeah, it is true. It is true that um, YouTube is shortchanging everybody now because of the economy. So the commercial people that are paying you to run their commercials in your videos are cutting back. So everybody is feeling the pain. Um, right now, at this moment, my next payout right now is negative $70. How the hell can it be negative 70? You know? I just barely broke 100 hours this month. If you think about it, what the hell is 100 hours? It's uh, three of them beams right there. Three 4x4s. Four you know? So, yeah. I'm really getting worried now. So, I'm kind of, yeah. A little bit of a... A pants pooper, because by the time I get done with this, by the time I get ready for the freaking tin, you know, they told me about 600. It's probably going to be 800 by the time I get around to it. So, okay. Any donation would be very much appreciated. Um, yes. All right, everybody. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.